Okay, guys, welcome back to the Burp Sweep class. Because what if I was on a website? All right, so I'm clicking on this bad boy and it's got article ID, right? And it's got parameter passing. Now, what if right here, I send a single quote? Now I send a single quote and nothing happened. You guys see that? I sent a single quote, nothing happened. Now, if you wanted to test this further by hand, that would get pretty tedious. What would be cool in Burp Suite would be to send that parameter to the, send that exact address to, um, to Intruder and then give it a whole list of stuff to try because maybe a single quote doesn't work. Maybe a double quote works. Maybe you know, he wants dash dash at the end of it. Maybe he wants an asterisk. So that's what you're really gaining, right? The ability to try so much more. Now, guys, this is not the only feature of Burp Suite, but this is an example of why people prefer Burp Suite because he gets to say, okay, I can do my manual testing the way that I teach you, right? If, is he talking to a database? I send a single quote. If I see parameter passing, I send a single quote. Now, the next case, I do the exact same thing. So let's say question number two. Question number two is, if you see parameter, pa I'm sorry, uh, can I or someone else see what I type? So here's an example of where you can see what you type. Here's a search box. So in that search box, I definitely want to try cross-site scripting. That's awesome. But it's not uncommon for your cross-site scripting to not work. Let's say, for example, I did it with this XSS like this, right? And you'll see that this doesn't work. So that cross-site scripting that I did with the one, two, three worked. The cross-site scripting that I did with the letters XSS did not work. So you could go back and you could say, okay, I want to try XSS, but I want to put it in single quotes. Okay, that didn't work. So now I want to put it in double quotes. Okay, that worked. Well. If you go back to your fuzz database, whoops, you could go to attack, you could go to XSS, and you could load like the rsnake list of all of these different cross-site scriptings. And then you could see which one worked, right? So the same way that you iterated through it for SQL injection would be the same way that you would do it for cross-site scripting. It'd be the exact same thing. This is why people like, this is why they like it. They go, oh, you know, they're messing with the website and they go, oh, I see, here's a search box. Let me load this cross-site scripting fuzz list. You know, let me, let me hit it real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's vulnerable or no, it doesn't. So, what you would do by hand is everywhere that you saw where you or someone else can see what you type, a search box, a forum, a guest book, a contact us box, a instant messenger, any one of those places, you would insert your cross-site scripting and see if it worked. Now, what, why Burke Suite would be better, as an example, would be something like Intruder. Okay. All right. Now, your last one is, does it reference a file? 
So trying to see if the page reference is a file, here would be an example. Let's say I went here, and can you see that the parameter passing references a file? So because the parameter passing references a file on the local file system, I'm going to try to see if I can read the Etsy passwd file. And you see that I can, in fact, read it. So you say to yourself, well, I go back to my fuzz database, and what I want to look for is called an LFI, a local file include. So I want to see, hey, can you, can you reference any common files that I might want you to try and pull up, right? So it just gives you a nice little list of files to say, hey, can you get to any of these? Okay. I and mean, then you could load that the same way that you saw me do a FreshQL injection. So I could manually try to read the Etsy password, then try to read the Etsy issue and go, oh, see, it's running Red Hat, right? I could manually do a remote file include, right? So let's go in URL. txt so here's a file I could grab this and then what I could do is right here I could put that file here so now what you just did is you just did what's called a remote file include where you made the website point to a remote file okay file name is no longer pointed to a local file he's pointing to a remote file. So now that that's the case, you can see the contents of your remote file show up in the screen. Well, you can build your own fuzz list of this stuff to try all these different types, you know, to see if you can pull, you know, an RFI, right? So just really, really, really handy. So here's a nice list of RFIs, right? Huge, huge, huge list, right? So there's just so, so, so much of this stuff, right? This is why people like Burp Suite. And I think you can see for me, Intruder is definitely the thing that I like because I like to load my own fuzz database and go off and do that stuff. But hopefully you see that here's the stuff that I try. So are you noticing for each page, I try one or two things manually? And that's how I kind of know what attack path to go down. Now, if you want to be more thorough, then you can load these fuzz databases per page. Now, you can't load these massive fuzz databases to try every single attack known to man on every single page, you have to kind of get a feel and go, yeah, you know, I beat up on that pretty hard for SQL injection. I don't think I need to go that hard. Or you do something and it gives you a hint like, oh, it threw an error. So then you throw a better list at it. No, nope, still nothing. Then you throw a better list at it. Well, still not what I want. Then you throw a better list at it. Oh, finally got that SQL injection to work. That's generally how you're going to see people use this, okay? If I can help you learn about who we are, and hopefully, if you're willing to join us, this is InfoSec Addicts.